Hi everyone, my name is Robert Russo and I'm a rheumatologist at BJC Health and today we're going to show you a cervical rotation test using the assessment of ankylosing spondylitis and to do that I'm going to call on Rachel Butterworth who's a physiotherapist here at our practice. Thanks Rachel. Thanks Rob. So I'm going to go through the cervical rotation test to assess for cervical mobility in ankylosing spondylitis patients. First thing we need to have is an inclemometer. And what this does is measure the amount of degrees for which the neck is rotating. We place it on the patient's forehead so that it's sitting at zero, making sure that the patient is looking straight ahead to start off with. And then we ask the patient to slowly turn their head towards the left, as far as they can, making sure the upper body doesn't move, and then round to the right as far as we can and here you can see Errol's right rotation is about 87 degrees back to the centre Thank you very much Rachel for showing us that cervical rotation test which is used in the assessment of ankylosing spondylitis so was the range you measured for Errol normal? Yes, it was. Well, relatively. 85 degrees was what Errol showed to both the left and to the right, and 90 is what we would call normal. Is there any problems with measuring cervical rotation tests? Yes. The inclinometer is very much dependent on how the therapist holds the inclinometer. Therefore, it is more uh, reliable to have the same therapist test and retest. So thanks again, Rachel, for showing us the cervical rotation test. 